helping you plan your day with Central Virginia's most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Carrie Rose. You know, I get a lot of really great pictures on my Facebook page, and this week Robert Durham just blew mine up with some beautiful sunrise and sunset photos. So I just thought I'd go through a slideshow of some of his pictures. Aren't they beautiful? I just love how he captured some of this. So you can send me your best nature or weather shot on Facebook, which is where Robert did, or tag me on Twitter or Instagram, and I'll be able to see and share your photos. Temperatures are fading out the door into the mid to upper 30s and the low to mid 40s. It's a little bit milder out along the bay, 50 at Kilmarnock and 55 as you head down toward the beach and toward Norfolk. We are starting to get a little bit of high cloud cover streaming over us out ahead of our storm system that we've been tracking now for a couple of days coming out of Canada. Big high pressure behind it, much colder air. This system already producing snow on the cold side of it. It is going to be tracking down through West Virginia and then head on down and merge as a new coastal system off of the Carolinas over the weekend. But this is our first winter storm for our region. Not us here in Central Virginia, but highlighted here in Peak. That's where three to six inches of snow will be possible. Let me broaden you back out so you can see these are winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories that are posted now for the mountains of the southwestern tip of Virginia. And now back where that high pressure is starting to move in behind the system. System. Much colder air is coming in, so these are your freeze warnings, freeze watches in effect. We'll also see that potential for freeze coming up at the beginning of next week. But for now, it's just a little bit on the chilly side into the low to mid 40s. I expect us to hang out around 40 through 7 a.m. Sunrise is at 733, sunset at 612 for you. Winds will be from the northeast, less than 10 miles per hour today. This is really going to be a lovely fall day, and even for your trick-or-treaters, it is going to be just fine for them. A little bit on the cool side for them staying dry though as I mentioned in my last update for you we will stay dry through trick-or-treating with those temperatures holding into the 50s so in case you missed this here's the details for you for this evening 5 p.m. about 58 by 7 p.m. remember it'll be full dark by then 53 degrees by 9 p.m. 49 turning a little bit chilly so let's track our system which is going to bring that chilly air you can see the blue by Saturday morning at 5 a.m. into those areas I was just talking about that could see the snow but not us so let's just zoom in and focus in here you're not going to see a whole lot of green showing up all over central Virginia, but I think we will have the opportunity to get some of those showers off and on during the day on Saturday. Let's pause and check the clock again. This is now at 9 p.m. That system that is two low pressures will have now merged into one, which will become a true nor'easter tracking off to the north and east away from us. What that means for those of you along the bay, you're going to have some really choppy waves on Saturday and Sunday. Even after the system is moving away, it'll be really windy out along the bay as well. Let's move on now and get a check of traffic with Kristen. Thanks, Carrie.